Today I've got a couple things I want to talk about. One is going to be a breakdown of Oracle, our stock prediction algorithm that comes built into Stocks to Trade. And then also I've got to touch on briefly an upcoming announcement that I want you to check out. Hey everyone, Lee Trainer with Stocks to Trade, Tim Bowen here. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell if you're on YouTube to be notified as soon as we drop a new video. We do, geez, sometimes 10, 12 videos a week. I want you to be notified as soon as a new one drops. Share them with your friends. I think we have an amazing channel here to help everyone that's interested in day trading, swing trading, short selling, etc. All right. That being said, we're, today we're going to be talking about Oracle, our stock prediction algorithm. Now, what I would like you to do, number one, you may already be a subscriber to Stocks to Trade. So if you are, you have a fully working full version of Oracle. So maybe you're here because a lot going on and I'm going to walk you through it. You see all these numbers, you see the indicators, you see the Oracle bar, all this stuff. I'm going to help you learn that. Now, number two, if you don't have Stocks to Trade, click that link below. You get a fully operating full version with all of these tools I'm going to go over with the trial. Check it out. Follow along. I think personally, Oracle is worth the entire cost of stocks to trade. I mean, listen, if you're busy, you got a lot going on. One click gives you a watch list. One click gives you potential entries and exits. One click tells you whether something's a long, a short. You can see the short interest. All these things I'm going to break down. I mean, I think we could probably unbundle this tool and sell it for the same price of the entire package plus you get everything else that stocks to trade has news scan twitter scan breaking news you know um new high day new uh twitter scans your configurable scans broker integration paper trading i mean it the the list hundreds and hundreds of features but that being said get the trial and um you know if you don't have it yet get it right now Pause the video, fire it up, and you can follow along and, and look to make a trade with Oracle today, tomorrow, whatever works for you. So that being said, what I'm going to talk about today is kind of the main stock that's in play, L-I-F-E. Today is uh, September 16th. You can kind of go back and look at the chart. It's breaking out to new high days right now. Great, just amazing low floater. And, you know, was on Oracle this morning with an amazing entry, uh, you know, and uh, just, ah. So anyway, let me walk you through it. It's just so exciting to see this stuff play out. So let me give you a little bit of a background. LIFE this week was kind of the stock. Okay, if you, you know, again, depending on when you see this video, you'd probably know this, but Monday morning, they dropped a uh, FDA announcement press release, and this was a big runner. Let me let me show you the daily chart. So gapped up to 578, went as high as nine day one, next day had a week open red to green, but went as high as uh, almost 13. So basically five to 13 in two days. Now, that was two days ago. What's great about Oracle is, you know, even if you missed it, maybe you were busy, maybe it was off your radar, you had another trade plan coming in this morning. So I'm going to walk you through what you're looking at here so that you can find the next one. You know, I always, if you've heard me do these videos, if you've seen me present at conferences, I always try and avoid that whole um, you know, picking winners, you know, picking some stock that worked a few weeks ago and going over it. I'm going over life because it's the number one stock in play today. But what I'm trying to do with this video is give you the criteria for tomorrow. Because again, you, unless you have a time machine, if you have a time machine, let me know. Time machine would be very helpful in trading. So, so if you've got a time machine, Hey, man, hit me on the DMs. Let me know. But if, unless you have a time machine, talking about life, unless it's still in play, does it do you any good? What I want to do is give you the tools to spot tomorrow's life, next week's LIFE, next month, next year's, etc. So what Oracle does every single morning is it compiles the list of the 15 most active potentially volatile stocks. And typically, now depending on the day, it's a mix of roughly 
uh, half longs and half shorts. Now, depending on the day, and, and you can see today, you know, the market's been down pretty big uh, all morning. You know, big gap down. We're getting ready to test multi-month lows to the downside. So that being said, you can see a lot of red on Oracle. And when I say that, notice these are all the tickers that Oracle automatically, with its algorithm, added to the watch list. Then the indicator, whether it's red or green below the ticker, indicates whether that's a potential long or a potential short. And you can see, I mean, I'm just looking real quick, probably roughly two-thirds, one-third shorts versus longs. So right off the bat, number one, I every morning I fire up Oracle because it starts building the watch list in pre-market. And quite frequently, I just look at that bullish bearish indicator because um, almost it, Oracle is weighted towards low price stocks. You will see higher price stocks. But remember, one of the reasons we love low price stocks is because they do stuff like life that just hit a new high a day as I'm talking. <laughs> you know, we love the extreme volatility of low price stocks. So it's typically going to be weighted towards the penny stocks, the $2 stocks, the $20 stocks. And, and then it kind of fall. Well, you can see BROS, which was an IPO today, uh, $40 stock. That's usually kind of the upper end of what Oracle is looking at. But I use it just to quickly know, hey, what's the sentiment of the, what's the sentiment? You know, and if you're on pre-market prep, you'll hear me talk about that. You know, whether we're, we're aggressive or we're conservative, bullish, bearish, et cetera. And I could, you know, this morning, I could be like, hmm, maybe a day to be extra choosy, extra picky, a lot of red on Oracle. So then next I see life, which again, this is something that I preach and preach and preach. It's not more it's quality, okay? It's not about more tickers, more tickers, more tickers. I think about some of the recent runners, BTX, SPRT, MRIN, BBIG, today, LIFE. I mean, this was the best stock Monday. It was the best stock Tuesday. Had an ugly day because of an offering yesterday, but it's the best stock today. So focus on stocks that are in play. So I come in this morning after that offering last night, I'm like, hey, Oracle's on, on or, or life is on Oracle. This is, my, this is my number one Monday and Tuesday. Today I'm recording, it's Thursday. I'm like, hey, this is something I want to pay attention to. So then the next I'm going to look at is since it's a long, okay, the green indicator, I'm going to focus on the right side of, this, uh, of the Oracle bar. Now you can see up here at the heading, you've got long, you've got short. And then that indicator determines which side you pay attention to, okay? So it gives you the data. And now keep in mind, like, like this is what's wild about Oracle, is you can use it if you're, if you're a really aggressive day trader. I mean, you can use it the long and short the same stocks. So right now, Oracle's bullish LIFE. Obviously, it's breaking out to new highs. But let's say something happens later in the day. Stock crashes, starts falling apart. You can actually trade the other side of the Oracle bar. So I'm going to focus for the sake of time on the long because I'm trying not to have this be a 45 minute video. Okay. I, <laughs> I love stocks. Hopefully you can see that passion, but I tend to get excited and get overly detailed. So we're going to focus on the prediction this morning. And the so you've got the indicator, the stock. And then you've got your long delta, your resistance, your max. And then we I'm going to start over here on the stock data, your volume, your float, market cap, and short, uh, uh, short ratio. So in the morning, in pre-market, you're not going to have the signal level here. Okay. So the signal level is determined after the market close at 9.33, 9.34 a.m. That's because Oracle is collecting all of the pre-market data as well as the market open data. And, and why is that? If you pay attention, you'll know that typically that first, you know, five minute candle of the day for the majority of volatile stocks, that first, that first candle is the highest volume candle of the day. And Oracle is collecting all of the prints. Okay. And when I say prints, hopefully you're familiar with that, but that's the level one. Okay. That's your time and sales. So it's collecting the size and the price of all of that opening candle to then run it through the algorithm and determine the bullishness and bearishness and the entry price, okay? Now, 
Hopefully you got that. It is a proprietary algorithm. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but that's where the magic happens is collecting all of the prints from that opening candle. Then it gives you a entry price and you can see that it was 965 was the entry. Okay. That's this box right here. That's the signal level. So basically Oracle was saying that would be your entry to buy. Then we're going to look at um, the Oracle bar down here for all of the intermediary support and resistance levels to then gauge an entry and an exit. So the entry was at 965 and I'm down here on the bar right now. Um, and actually I'm going to go ahead and grab this to walk you through it here. This might, might help you visually because a lot going on screen. So I'm going to jump down here and 965 was my entry. So my entry signal based on Oracle. So that is your buy point. And there was plenty of time. So that hit at 9.33 a.m. And you can see that the price, it did not hit 9.65 until 9.41 a.m. So you had roughly seven minutes, six, seven minutes, which I know doesn't probably doesn't sound like a lot. But if you're a day trader like me and you've traded the open, Six minutes at the open is an eternity. Feels like six hours. So you had like six or seven hours to determine if this was the right stock for you. Or six or seven hours. Six or seven minutes to determine if this was the right stock for you. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe you move on to something else on Oracle. Maybe you had your own watch list. But you got time. So it gives you that read. You got time to take the trade or not. Then what you're going to do is if you take that trade, Oracle gives you an exit. So let's say... I mean, listen, as much as I love the tool, as much as I believe in it, it doesn't work every time. If it worked every time, I'd be doing this video, you know, hanging out with Jeff Bezos on our spaceship. And I'd be like, hey, Jeff, what do you think about life? You know, and we'd be laughing on the spaceship on our Mars base. Okay. Now, it, it is a great tool to make you a consistently profitable trader. It's not guaranteed to work. You got to take your stops. So now the nice thing is it gives you that potential stop at 9.35. You're risking 30 cents a share down on that resistance level for the potential that you could then hit that next intermediary level. That next intermediary level is $10.23, roughly 80 cents higher. So you got about a two to one risk to reward there. But then the great thing about life, once it broke 10.20, it blew through it and you can see that, that 122 times it held that 1020 support. So that indicator right there, that little number, that 122 is saying that once it blew 10 through 1023, it then 122 times it tried to break down that level and held. So to me, if you were in that trade, you're going to be watching that and you'd be like, hey, we got some firm support here. Then after that, you know, the stock spiked after that as we were watching it hit as high as 1150, which broke through that next area of 1111. So now, I mean, you're talking roughly two bucks a share of upside on a very volatile stock. Then it cracked back below 1111, which is where we are right now. That's where you take your profits. You It broke that 1111 support. You move on. Let's say you sell right now at 1099. You're up a buck 30 a share after risking 30 cents a share, if it would have fell apart. Does that sound like a good day trade to you? I mean, listen, you got 100 shares, a couple hundred shares, 500 shares, 1,000 shares. You want to make a, you know, a buck 30 a share while risking 20, 30 cents a share with one click on the most volatile stock of the day? Sounds pretty good to me. Now, again, I want to be clear. They don't all work. Okay, They don't all work, but think about it. Let's say it didn't work and you lost 20 cents, 30 cents. Then you come back in tomorrow and, and it does work and you make a buck 20. Two trades, you're up a buck a share on two trades. You know, again, whatever your position size based on your account, that's not bad. Let's say, let's say those are the only two trades you make this week. You've now got a 50, you know, you got a 50-50 win percentage, which most morons will tell you you can't make money doing that, but they don't understand the fact that if you take small losses and bigger gains, it adds up over time. 
Some there's some very very active day traders that make good money with with below 50% win rates. And I know what you're saying. You're like, "Tim, you're wrong. You're talking too fast. You're going too fast. It can't be done." It can be done. Okay? It can be done. If you lose a hundred bucks and you make a thousand bucks, you lose a hundred bucks and you make a thousand bucks, guess what? You're up eighteen hundred bucks. Okay. And then you lose another hundred bucks. Now you have a below uh fifty percent win rate and you're up seventeen hundred bucks. And when you've lost three hundred, okay? The it works if you minimize your losses and maximize your gains, and Oracle helps you do that. Okay. That means said. A lot of the other terms, I'm going to move on. You should know, listen, if you're actively trading, you should know what the last price is, the percent gain is. You should understand volume. You should understand the float. You should understand the market cap. And you should know what a short ratio is. You can see life is the second highest or third highest short ratio out of all the stocks. Hard to believe it's blowing up today. So understand all of these things. If you don't, we have hundreds of videos thousands of blog posts, a podcast. I have an ebook that will help you understand this. Today, I wanted to focus on Oracle, the bar, the entries and exits. Okay, check it out. Try it. The other thing I do want to talk about is keep an eye out, whether it be on your inbox, whether it be on the Stocks of Trade social media, whether, um, you know, our, our, our daily market accelerator newsletter, Keep an eye out on all of our channels. I've got a product, uh, a service coming where I actually interpret daily the most interesting and what I consider to be the best pick from Oracle each day. Now, what's cool about this is, again, I love it, gives you 15 stocks, but you have to make a decision as a human. You can't trade all 15. Well, I mean... Unless you're, listen, if you're a super genius, you probably can. Most of you are busy. Most of you have a lot going on. What's great about this idea is I'm going to give you my direction, my commentary, videos, uh, uh, you know, text, breaking down what I think it was the best one. And it was life today, okay? Out of all these tickers, by far and above, it was the number one. Again, based on the fact, you know, because what Oracle won't do, and as, as much as I think it's amazing, it can't give you that experience from the last three days. So let's say you were gone for three days. You were busy. You were on vacation. You come back today. You might not have known about life. You might not have known to pay the most attention to it. That's what I will do with the Oracle, uh, you know, every day breaking it down. So keep an eye out for that. All the social media channels on your email. Check out Oracle. Get the trial. Try it.